If you look at the actual design, you'll see that the missile adjacent faces are overfilled lingually. The key to contact design is to avoid multiple floss catches on adjacent surfaces. When creating a large surface area for less food to snag on, it's easy for the crown to become concave horizontally or vertically. This causes the floss to get caught multiple times as you move it up and down or in and out. This makes it difficult for food to get in and out easily. As a result, food can get stuck between the teeth, causing permanent gaps or inflammation of the gums. This is the crown case for implant number 26. Note the shape of the contact point with number 25. If you look at the actual design, you'll see that the missile adjacent faces are overfilled lingually. This is a video of a patient who came in a year later with food stuck in her teeth. As a result, his missile contact space has become open. When preparing a tooth, you need to make sure that the adjacent surfaces of the neighboring teeth are even. If this is not the case when designing the crown, it should be reflected in the design and compensated by trimming the neighboring teeth at the time of setting. In the picture, you can see that the adjacent surface of tooth number 17 is uneven. The technicians are supposed to notify me when this happens. Here I am correcting the design myself. I'll remember this and use it as a reference to trim the teeth during crown delivery. In the end, it turned out well. Adjacent sides of the crown should not be concave. Let's summarize today's lesson. The process of designing a zirconia crown starts with the previous step of preparing the tooth and checking for any errors made during scanning. If there is a problem with the occlusal alignment, it can be corrected to some extent, although not completely by software. Mandibular movement records will produce more meaningful results than articulators. Giving the line angle an additional cement gap will result in a uniform and thin cement gap. The contact point design should not be concave, and if the adjacent teeth are not flat, the dental technician is advised to communicate with the dentist to create the crown.